Yay, Monday, right? Oh, man, Mondays are like... Uh, that's how I feel on Monday. It's just like, oh, uh, no, another day in Monday. Monday land. I got a purple uh, shirt from uh, Walmart. Look how, look how weird it looks, though, because it's, it's got like a... I don't know. It's got like that x-ray, but it, it has orangish, purple, weird look. So 788. Can't complain. I like it. Yeah. I did try to buy, however, that Halloween set, since we're speaking of Halloween, at uh, Scream Factory. 4722. That's what it cost me, so I was like, I'm gonna return this. I already own these movies, so why would I want to buy, you know, it again? I mean, the extended edition, don't get me wrong, that's cool that that's on blue right now, but I'll just wait, because I don't really, the original, the way it is, I don't really care. I have it on Blu-ray, so. Oh, well. <sighs> so I do have stuff for you today. Dollar Tree and Disc Replay. So disc Replay, I don't really have a whole lot. Da, da, da. Disc Replay. I saw this and I saw Patrick Swayze. And I, I thought he was going to be like a killer or something in this. And, uh, this is a fun movie, if you haven't seen it. Definitely pick it up. <sighs> the Nice Guys. Got the Blu-ray DVD. This was 50 cents. Now this show. Four bucks. I'll check it out. Even though it's the second season. I mean, I like Adam Green and stuff. And I saw the guests and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, why not? So back look cool that's what sold it to me was all these random people in there i'm like yeah sid hag no twisted sister dean snyder um i don't know i've not seen the first season so i'm just gonna we'll see what happens okay, dollar tree there is another location i'm gonna go to i haven't been there yet so i'll try to get some actual footage of there for you guys um but yeah, I have a lot here. Okay. Very happy to find this. Richard Dreyfus, he's like my favorite in this. Uh, I don't know, I think I actually like it more than Jaws. Even though, I don't know, I probably still like Jaws more. But yeah, DVD, Blu-ray, I mean for a buck. Are we, really, a buck? Ah. Uh, I was gonna check this one out too. What sold it to me was the RLJ title here. I don't know. I saw Robert England and this guy, so it might be good. You know, it's a gamble, really. We'll see. Rambo 2 on Blu-ray. Couldn't pass that up. Good shorty. I don't think I've seen anyone else pick this up at Dollar Tree, but I did. Tree movie action. Another awesome find. Anytime you get... You know, three movies for a dollar. Caged Animal, Outrage, Lords of the Street. It's pretty cool. Uh, now, I found this too, season four. So I'm slowly building my Bates Motel collection here. Although there's no code in here, because I did slightly open it, but I'll try to open the rest of the way here. Yeah. It, there you go. Three discs. DVD. I don't care if that's in DVD too. It doesn't bother me. It's going to look great. So I found season two. This was a different, uh, if you guys remember this haul, I found that. So now I have two and four for a buck. And I was real excited to find that. So I'm just going to keep checking them out. And eventually I'll build the whole Bates Motel thing for five bucks. That's the plan for five seasons. Killer movie. I don't know. We'll see. Gotti, this is the one that everyone probably found.
and this one I actually was gonna buy online for five bucks, and I'm happy I didn't, mainly because I already have this one, and I did find this one too, uh, Midnight Movie, I kind of like it, um, Terror Trap, and Scar, Director's Cut, definitely worth a buck, this is the one if you can find, definitely get on top of it, Midnight Movie. I just always remember seeing that cover and I was like, this guy looks so cool. Tidal Wave. So let me know how you guys picked up there. If you found anything good. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new Fear Street. I did watch the first episode-ish, like halfway. I couldn't finish it. I was not a fan of part one. I, I just, I felt like it was like Screen and Stranger Things trying to, it was trying to be like all that in one. And I just, ugh. No. Uh, I did start part two, but then I saw the same people from the first one. So I think they're all connected. So I, I don't know. I'm just going to let that sit for now. I might revisit it. You know, let me know what you guys thought of it. Did you guys enjoy it? A lot of people did. Uh, it just wasn't me. Um, whoa. I almost lost my coffee there. It, it almost fell down. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta suck that up real quick. So, gotta move my stuff because the box that I have the table on here is like trying to break. So, need to, there we go. Yes. Yeah, it was about to fall and it was gonna be horrible. Yeah, and one other thing too. I'm probably not going to do any, like, trailer reactions and stuff like that, because I don't... I'm not a big fan of spoiling movies, because I know the new Halloween, the new Candyman. I've had friends tell me about them, and I just feel like they give you way too many spoilers in those. It's like, I like to be surprised with the film. If I'm not surprised, then why am I wasting my time? Why am I, like, putting that in, you know, and watching it? So... I like to just not know. Um, I don't know. My opinion is if you're going to do that, then then everybody else watching, then you've pretty much spoiled it to a good chunk of audience. So I'm not... I recommend don't watch trailers. How do you guys feel about that? Are you going to watch them? Or are you not going to watch them like me? I refuse to. I'm, I'm just... I don't know. I feel like they throw all the good stuff in it, and then, then when you... Put it in and you're like well, this is what i have to look forward to and then you've already seen it in the trailer so it's like big spoil no good yeah so that's my opinion on trailers tell me what you guys think of that and by the way i did go to AutoZone too this is just random um i got these uh different like sockets to change my oil because I, I was having issues when you use your actual wrench set i was having issues getting my oil plug off it just wasn't working so these have all the grooves as you can see in there there's like tons of grooves to catch it so yeah you guys might like those too if you guys like to change your own oil it definitely saves you from going into a place and paying you know they have those at AutoZone. They have like little, it catches it like all over, even if your thing's kind of stripped. Cause I paid one time, like I stripped my thing on there and I'm like, I can't get it off. So then I had to go and pay like 50, 60 bucks to get my oil changed or whatever. And I was like, this is a ripoff. I'm mad. So then this time I went to AutoZone and I got one of those and then phew, came right off. So I'm not paying that again. I felt, I don't know, I felt defeated going there. I was just like, I don't want to pay you guys nothing. I know how to do this. It's so easy. So yeah, I, I don't know. Random, but I figured I'd throw that in there. And I got the ones with all the grooves in there now. So even if I do strip my oil pit plug, I got it. So yeah. Happy Monday and uh, enjoy. By the way, I did get the Phantasm box set. It's at Best Buy. 99 something at Best Buy. If you guys can find those, definitely jump on it. I, I don't know if you'd still have them or not. Sorry, the hamster. He's annoying over there, but... Yeah, if you guys can get it there, it's like 99 bucks total, okay? If you go to Amazon, it's like 
116. I canceled my order from Amazon because I'm like, I'm not paying you guys 116. 99 is a lot better. And I have the Best Buy near my work when I go. So it might be like 20 minutes out of the way, but I want to get that by myself. And that way I'll go worry about shipping, being all beat up. Yeah, so give me comments, likes, subscribes, whatever you got to do. We'll see you next time. Enjoy.